Welcome to my Warframe tier list. Now, before we start this, I need to make this abundantly clear. One, this tier list isn't about how powerful a Warframe is. This is more of how enjoyable a Warframe is. I am making that very clear now before anybody looks at me like I'm insane saying, well, this Warframe's da 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 you know? I am basing this off of my pure opinion, and yes, I know some of these guys say not mastered like Grendel, Gauss, and Aros, and Aros, and whatnot. I played on console. I've played every Warframe except for Caliban. So Caliban, I don't really know, but you know what? I can look at his abilities, and that's why we're doing it through the Codex. And we're going in chronological order. Don't don't mind Miss not being maxed out. I don't want to talk about it. But we are going to go in chronological order. So if you want to see Yorel or Zeph or Zaku or Wukong or Wispvolt, so and so and so, just skip ahead. You should be able to look at it because as I'm talking about the Warframes, which I'll go into the little menu so you should be able to see the Warframes. With that being said, we're going to be starting with Ash Prime. Now, like I said, this isn't based on how good a Warframe is. This is about my enjoyment of the Warframe and how new friendly they are I suppose and honestly I'd give Ash a solid B I'm gonna be real with here Ash gets a solid B now don't get me wrong if you are a good player and you know how to make things work by all means is Ash S tier but I'm talking about like noobs here like I don't know if you guys have seen Nightmare Frame most of his like level cap videos he's playing Ash Ash and Nyx they are wild Level 9,999 is getting fucking one shot, okay? It is wild. But I give Ash like a solid B because I'm not a big fan of Ash. He kind of looks dumb. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that part. I'm also basing this off of looks. Ash kind of looks dumb. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. He's, he's mid. Mid. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. When's the last time I played Ash? Ash, wait a minute, Atlas. Rumblers are cool. I love Rumblers. Rumblers gets an S tier for abilities just because I get rock golems. And they actually increase with the ability strength. Like, their size increases with ability strength. Um, landslide, if I remember correctly, is really good. <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but I, if you... Is it with Petrify? Yeah, if you mix it with Petrify, Landslide does a stupid amount of damage. It's really good, and I don't even remember tectonics. Oh, it's just a shield that you can throw. It's mid. Atlas Atlas gets a C tier because you get him normal Atlas from Jordas Golem, and I never want to see that Warframe ever again, or that boss ever again. Not after Steel Path. Banshee. Banshee Prime looks cool. Oh, my lord. Man, I remember back in the day when you would have a Banshee on your team and a defense mission, and it was just like, well, all right, let's get, let's get my XP, man. Benji would just sit there and murder literally everything. Silence is a really good. You got to know how to use it. Decrease radius. It actually is stronger. It's really weird. Um, sonar, you can spam it multiple times and it marks enemies. It's meh. And then Sonic Boom, I don't even remember that. I don't even remember that. Whoa. <laughs> Passive weapon noises are hushed so that enemies can... Oh, so you pretty much get a free silencer. Banshee gets a B. Banshee Prime, though, if we're, like, basing this off of looks, Banshee Prime easily gets an A. Banshee Prime looks so cool. And with that being said, Atlas gets, like, a C, and then <laughs> Ash's looks gets, like, a fucking D. I hate the look of Ash Prime. And Ash, actually. Let's see. Baruch. The pacifist warframe. Serene storms over powder shit. Let's get that out of the way. You build that thing right, it's fucking disgusting. Uh, desolate hands. Which one's that? Some of, oh, it's the like orbiting daggers. I know that they were weak to begin with, but I think they got buffed to where they're actually like half decent. Uh, lol is the oh, puts people to sleep, and then eludes one more projectiles go through. You can make it 360 degrees, but you can't can't attack with it. So, eh, his Serene Storm's really powerful, though. But it's been ages since I've played Baruch. Uh, 
Plant rows are in fields and stones are in the bed. Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, Brooke gets, gets a solid A for look, though. Brooke looks really nice. Like, they did a really good job at his fashion. Uh, Bone Widow? Do we include Void Rigs? Do, do, if we're including Void Rigs, I give Bone Widow an F. Because the only other choice is Void Rig. And let me tell you what, Bone Widow is garbage compared to Void Rig. Hey, Kuva Gratler, never mind, gets an S tier. Yeah, no, I don't. I, D. D tier. Fuck, fuck Bone Widow. Terrible. Caliban. Now, this is where things get interesting. Because I. I've never played Caliban. His passive's cool, though. It's a built in adaptation. Uh, Sentient Wrath. So he has, like, an AoE. Lethal Prodigy. Prugan. I'm not even going to try to say that. I thought it was Prodigy, but. Progeny? Pride? Progeny? Progeny Pig? Um, his abilities just don't look very powerful. They look fun. Like, don't get me wrong. If, if I'm going to base it off of, like, never playing him, I'd give him, like, a solid B tier just for how funny he looks. And if I'm basing it off of fashion, he gets a solid A tier because. I really like how they did it with like the sentient style of Warframe. Really like the look of Caliban, but I've I really don't know what to say about it. Uh, Chroma Prime, uh, for looks he gets fucking S tier. Chroma Prime looks fucking amazing. For playstyle, F. Oh my lord, is he boring? Oh my lord, is he boring? He used to be like top of the game, but I just can't enjoy Chroma anymore. You know. It's like his pass is cool. You get an additional jump and you sprout wings. Like that's kind of cool, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't like Chroma. He's boring. He's boring as shit. Like, cool. You pop your two, you pop your three, and then you kind of just get shot at until you get your armor and your damage bonus, and then shoot things. That's boring. I don't. I've never gotten Ember. Oh my lord. That's a lot of lore. And Ember Prime has the same thing. Ember gets A tier. <laughs> Instantly. Easily. Easily. A tier. Ember may not be as strong as she used to be, but damn, is she fun. She blows shit up. Fire Blast. Eh. It strips armor. It's cool. It's cool. Immolation gives you up to 95% damage resistance if you build strength. Her one, you can charge up. And her four just sends out fucking meteors that murder everything? I mean, what isn't there to love? Other than the fact that it's mid. She also looks cool. Ember Prime gets an S tier for looks. And another S tier for the Glaive Prime being her melee. Glaive Prime's overpowered for anybody who doesn't know. She's like, Glaive Prime's like over, overpowered. But Ember gets a solid A tier in the fun department and a solid S tier in the look department. Equinox. Um, what can I say about you, Equinox? Other than the fact that you have that fucking melee. Equinox is a weird-ass character, for anybody who doesn't know. So, her one is Metamorphosis, where she switches between day and light. Um, night form is, like, the support side, and day form is the attack side, right? So, you have rest and rage, and night form targets are put to sleep, and day form targets become more vulnerable to damage. Uh, pacify and provoke, and night form reduce damage inflicted, and day increase ability strength. Mend and maim, and night form allies' shields are replenished with each nearby enemy killed, and day form enemies are inflicted with a bleed status effect. Deactivate while on night form to restore health and shields, and deactivate while on day form to cast a wave of slashing force. She gets a solid S tier, actually, for enjoyment. I really liked playing Equinox. Granted, I played her on my buddy's account, and he didn't have as many mods as I am, so I guess that's even more of an testament to how much fun she is, is that I didn't even have a complete build, and I enjoyed the shit out of Equinox Prime. Uh, I helped him get Equinox Prime, and I sold the set he got. He built her because he enjoyed Equinox back on console. Solid S tier for enjoyment. I, I enjoy Equinox. And also, don't even get me started on that fashion. Honestly, I like normal Equinox more. Alright, I got a little bit scared there. I thought the game crashed. Alrighty. 
Excalibur. F. Fuck Excalibur. I hate him. There's two reasons why, and our second our second reason why is um well you'll you'll see what the second reason why is in like about a minute and a half. Is one basic and boring. His radio blind's pretty awesome. Radio javelin can be fun, and I hate Exalted Blade. It's just click 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 click. You just mail it shit. I hate Excalibur. Easily my least favorite. Oh, uh, that's a lie. Easily one of my least favorite Warframes. I've never enjoyed him. Uh, I was more of a mag person. And now time for reason number two. is because Excalibur Umbra exists. Sounds weird, right? His passive's different. You go into Transference. He controls himself. His Slash Dash is still the same. His Radial Javelin is still the same. His Exalted Blade is still the same. This is what makes him slightly better. Sentient shed any built up resistances. That's what makes him better. Still an F tier. Actually, no, I'll give him C tier because he looks cool as fuck. But. Yeah. Fuck Excaliburs. Ah, yes. Frost. Uh, time for the first very heated, dumb one that people will get mad at. Frost. <sighs> frost, Frost, Frost. Oh my lord, I love this Warframe. He was my first ever Warframe, and I still play him to this day. Ah, uh, S. S tier. Easily S tier. He's not my favorite Warframe anymore. That That has been taken by another Warframe. However... Frost still gets an S tier easily, as I absolutely adore him. Armor stripping, defense capabilities, crowd control, a useless ability that no one uses that we put Helmuth on to do literally any other fucking ability. <laughs> I love him. I love Frost. Frost gets S tier. Also, he has one of the cooler melees in the game, the Reaper Prime. All right, and and, and I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, Gara, honestly. Maybe that's like the salty, like, frost inside of me that makes it to where I don't like Gara. But it's also been ages since I've played Gara. I'm sure if I played Gara again recently, I'd, I'd enjoy her, but it's been a while since I've played her. Um, so, there's that. I'm going to give her a B tier just because it's been so long since I've played her, I don't necessarily remember much. So, I'm going to give her a B because I remember Mass Vetrify is amazing, Shattered Lash is amazing. And uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, Splinter Storm's fucking overpowered if you're doing defense. You just throw that bitch on whatever you're defending, and then it's not it's not getting put down. Ah, ah, mm. Garuda. What could I not say about this Warframe? Well, for one, she gets an S tier. Like, we're, we're starting off with, like, yeah, no, she gets S tier. Oh, my God, is she fun. And you can put under boob on her. We're not going to go there. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to go there. But you can put under boob on her. So, Garuda Prime looks amazing. No one can say that Garuda Prime doesn't look amazing. Garuda's damage temporarily increases with each enemy she kills to a maximum of 100%. Slashes with her talent if no melee weapon is equipped. Her talents are kind of bad, but we're going to ignore that. Seeking Talons is pretty fun. Makes, If I remember correctly, it makes you invulnerable whenever you pop it. It hasn't been a while since I've played Garuda. I just don't remember much. Uh, bloodletting. Mm, amazing. Amazing. I I play Garuda a lot in um, Railjack. I'll like Bloodlet, and then I'll use Magnus or Magus Repair to <laughs> heal my Warframe. Use bloodletting and then I'll hop on the rail jack and I'll just shoot rockets everywhere. Spam abilities. Blood altar is pretty good for heals and dread mirror is really fun if you can charge it up enough. And you just throw out like this weapon that just does 150,000 damage easily. And I think the max I've gotten it up to was like 10 million damage. That little blood orb I've gotten it up to 10 million. It's Guru is fun. Um, Gauss. <sighs> he's just Sonic. I, I really don't know what to say here. He's just Sonic. Gauss is an amazing Warframe, especially with Kinetic Plating and Thermal Sunder, and then you pop on Redline, and then you Redline, and then you just, you're unstoppable. <laughs> he is 
so good and so much fun. It's insane. <sighs> a moving generates an electrical current that fills Gauss's battery shields recharge up to 100% faster while the recharge delay is up to 80% shorter based on the battery level. These are really good Warframe. I don't have them on PlayStation, but I did have them on console. Or, no, sorry, I, I don't have them on PC, but I had them on PlayStation. So, that's, I enjoy Gauss. Gauss gets a solid A. He's very fun. Grindel. I'm not going to actually rate Grindel. And there's one reason why. And it's because he's getting a rework. So, this would immediately become a validated. So, we're just going to skip Grindel and just say you get to B tier for fun. Because you get to eat people. I don't know how much they're changing when he gets reworked. Nourish is also really fucking good. Oh, damn. You are here, huh? Looks like we have to play Dishonored tomorrow. Fair. I wanted to do this one first, though. Um, Geyer. I really... Eh, Geyer is really powerful, but like at the same chase, Geyer makes me want to die internally. You just pop... You pop Cathoid Grace, pop a Rotor Swell, and then you just shoot people. While well, you're moving... And get crits everywhere. She's a crit god. She she is the crit goddess. She is overpowered as all hell. She is a fucking blast to play when you're not getting absolutely murked in Steel Path. She gets S tier. Easily. S tier. She is amazing. Amazing. She can turn any weapon AoE based. She is so damn good. I love Gyre. And that's why she's still in my inventory. Oh, also, Gauss gets like an A for fashion, Garuda gets an S for fashion, Gar Prime gets an S for fashion, Grindel gets a solid SSS plus, alright, because he's chonky, um, and then Harrow Prime also gets like an S, because he, he looks, Harrow Prime looks cool, um, but Harrow Prime, however, gets mm, A, his, his playstyle gets an A, I'm not the biggest fan of Harrow, he is fun. He has really good fashion capabilities. But he's not my favorite Warframe. I love spamming Thurible with charging it up all the way and then murdering motherfuckers and then hitting Covenant and then hitting Condemn and then hitting Penance for that move speed, fire rate, all that jazz. It's cool. He's a very support-based frame, though, and I'm not the biggest fan of it. So, oh, that's not what I wanted. So, easily... Oh, don't sort by rank, sort by name. So easily Harrow gets a B tier and S in fashion. And then Hildren. Fun fact about Hildren. I have her on console for one reason, and it's because it was during Christmas. And somebody gifted me Hildren for free. And I absolutely thought she was mediocre. <laughs> so yeah. So her passive is kind of redundant because we have shield gaining, but we're going to ignore that. Uh, she has zero energy. Everything is shield for her. But she's kind of... Eh, honestly, she gets B. I'm not the biggest fan of Hildren, but I really have nothing against her. Other than her fashion. She gets an F for fashion. I don't like how she looks. But that's just me. Hildren gets a B. Alright, we're going to the Hydroid Prime S tier. We have tentacles. That's all that needs to be said. You have tentacles with Hydroid Prime, you get an S. Okay, that's how it works. But if we don't talk about the tentacles, he gets, like, an F. I hated playing Hydroid. <laughs> he looks amazing. I love how Hydroid Prime looks. S-tier look, but I hate playing Hydroid with a burning passion. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Hydroid is not funny at all as a yawn. And here we are about to pop the fuck off. Honestly, hate the look of him. He gets a D tier for looks. His playstyle gets F tier. In fact, actually, if I can give him less than an F tier playstyle, I will give him a less than an F tier playstyle. I fucking hate Anaros. He has no good abilities, right? None of his abilities are good. And if you say, well... 
Um, you can always just throw, you know, whatever Pelmuth ability on there. I mean, yeah, sure. Then you have one ability, while most other Warframes have four abilities that are useful. Well, you have one useful ability. So why would you ever play an R? I don't know. I know that I saw Hijack. He's good on Hijacks because he doesn't have any shield and he's all HP. Uh, to stay alive with an Aros. We're, we'll be getting into like tanky Warframes whenever we pass and be like, this is a better Warframe than an Aros. Just to bash in the fact that an Aros is one of the worst primes in the game. Or an Aros is one of the worst Warframes in the game. And yes, I mean that she's worse than Yorelli. He is so much worse than Yorelli. I hate Anaris, because at least Yorelli has abilities that do shit. And they're fun to use, this dude. Pocket sand. Fucking pocket sand. Ah, oh, let's eat this dude, but it does 50 damage a second. And when you're fighting enemies with upwards of 100,000 HP, yeah, that 50 damage a second is going to be real fucking good. Sandstorm, fucking useless. Okay. That's stupid. And Scarab Swarm, I don't, I don't really understand what the fuck this does. I'm going to be honest. I don't understand the point of it. You lose HP for what? Armor? Fucking armor? Fucking Aros. Ivara. Squid Mommy. Oh, wait, no. Mm, you know what? We're going to say Squid Mommy. Um, Baza Prime's awesome, but we're not here to talk about the Baza. Um... Honestly, I liked I liked her, but she could have been better. She's very outdated. That's that's what I'll say. She's very outdated. She gets a B tier. Looks wise though, Vara Prime looks fucking amazing. But like she gets B tier because she's very outdated for a Warframe. And I'd love to see her get reworked. Same thing goes for Frost. I'd rather have a Frost rework than a Vara Prime rework because I like Frost more, but she gets a B tier for enjoyment. She was fun. Our Vispo is fun to shoot people with and send them flying across the room. Um, oh, damn. Core Prime actually looks really fucking good. I I haven't looked at Core Prime. I never played Core Prime, but I played Cora. Core Prime looks pretty fucking good. I actually really like the look of Core Prime. Um, but anyways, Cora gets A tier. Pop four, pop one, use and snare every now and again. And Venari just put her on the uh, <laughs> support version and then just exist. I don't know what to say. I don't personally enjoy Korra that much, but I mean, Strangle Dome with Whip Claw, just spam one. Doesn't work as much as it used to. I'm looking at you, Mr. One Spammer Red Quits. But she gets beat here. Not my favorite Warframe. Not my least favorite. Looking at you, Anaros. Uh, to an interesting Warframe. Ooh. Now, this Warframe is really weird. Energy and Universal Orbs give La Lavo status immunity for 10 seconds, hold any ability to imbue the next cast with additional elemental damage and status. So you have toxic damage based. You have cold damage based. You have electrical damage based. And then you have fire damage based. So, Lavos is all cooldowns. 30 second cooldown, 10 second cooldown, 8 second cooldown, 5 second cooldown. So, what you always want to do is cataclyze, catac catalyze, sorry, uh, resets, if I remember correctly, no, sorry, it's transmutation orb that um, reduces other ability cooldowns by... <laughs> <laughs> mm. This is going to be over by the next hour. That reduces the cooldown of other abilities. So you want to hit one, you want to hit two, you want to hit four, then you want to hit three. Uh, I enjoyed Lavos. I no longer have Lavos, but I would play Lavos again. And the Dapper Man himself. Oh, also Lavos gets like a B tier for looks. I don't really like the look of Lavos. Um, Limbo. F tier for enjoyment. Honestly, I don't like playing Limbo. Banish. Stasis, Cataclysm, Rift Surge. I don't enjoy any of his abilities. I'm going to be honest here. I love his dodge. I love how he like how he looks. Like Limbo Prime looks fucking amazing. Look at that damn top hat. Tell me you don't look good. But it gets an F tier for enjoyment factor. I never enjoyed Limbo. 
There are people who swear and die by limbo. If you're one of those people, I respect the shit out of you. I can never do it. <laughs> Same thing with Loki players. Loki Prime is such a cool war for him. Hit two, hit hit four. Don't really use switch teleport to him. I use decoy. He's a really good crowd control warframe, but that's all he does is crowd control. Um, I enjoyed Loki. It's nowhere near my favorite, so I'd give him C tier for enjoyment. Not the best, not the worst. Just you know, he's cool. I, I he's very he's cool. That's that's what I'll say. And then for Mag Prime, uh, F tier for fashion. Fuck the look of Mag Prime. If you're gonna get Mag by a skin. Um, for abilities, really enjoyable. I like to go pure raw strength and range, pop magnetize on some poor dude, and then just see as the entire room gets decimated as I shoot at him with my Boltor Prime. Yeah, I used the Boltor Prime. I got it to work in Steel Path, so I'm happy. But Mag gets a A tier. Not my least favorite. She's pretty close to one of my favorite, or she's one of my more favored Warframes. Not getting A tier, though. Sorry, Mac. I love you. You're not that good. <laughs> Same thing with Mesa. Mesa also gets A tier. People, s people swear by Mesa. I'm not going to blame you for doing that. I'm not the biggest Mesa fan. My brother absolutely loves Mesa, but I'm not the biggest Mesa fan. She's fun. She gets the job done. But she's not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I... At least all of her abilities are useful. She's not like just a four. Use four and exist. You pop one, two, three, four. And then you're good. Especially with how good that three is. Shatter shield going up to like 95% damage reduction, I think. Absolutely amazing. Shooting gallery is free crowd control for the entire team. It's 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 pretty fucking good. Base is like A tier. And ooh, ooh, that fashion. Mm, that fashion. S tier fashion. And she's double caked up on this fine Wednesday evening. This was just, this fine Wednesday night. <laughs> ah, Mesa Prime's so cool. Same with Mirage. Ah, I love Mirage. A tier. It's fashion is S tier, alright. Mirage Prime's another really good looking Warframe. But uh her uh abilities? I like doing Hollow Mirrors with an Eclipse run. Hollow Mirrors Eclipse. That's what I use on her. It, it gets the job done. I clap cheeks with it. I enjoy it. I know that there's some optimal settings for Eclipse to make it to where you get the most damage. I don't know what those settings are. Go watch Nightmare Frame. He has it. Don't know what to tell you. Mirage gets A tier. And then S tier fashion. Um... The loot man himself. Just spam desecrate or desecrate and then just exist. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Uh, Necros gets A tier. Mainly because his Shadows of the Dead, Soul Punch. His, his entire kit's really fun to use. Right? Like, I enjoy his entire kit. But he still gets only, like, a B plus. He's a B plus tier. Uh, he's good. But... Eh, I never really enjoyed him that much. Tiger's Prime, though, is a different question, as things are clipping through the Tiger's Prime, and I don't quite... Oh, it's this little tendril thingy that is clipping through the uh, Tiger's Prime. Uh, yeah, he gets B tier. Uh, looks, though, honestly, I don't like the look of Necro's Prime. His looks get D tier. Look at his fucking big toe. It's disgusting. I hate it. Uh, Neza Prime gets S tier. <laughs> Easily S tier fashion, S tier uh, play style. I love Neza, and the Guando, and the Zacti. Oh my lord. I don't care for Divine Spears, but is it 1, 2, and 3? Hey, I love them. Build strength and duration, say fuck Divine Spears, and just goof around with Firewalker, Blazing Jock from Morning Halo, and just be happy. So he gets S tier easily. Nidus. Oh, hold on. Night is... Doesn't it sort of bike? So, normal Nidus. I hate the look of normal Nidus. 
but his fire axe skin, this skin, S tier. If you're gonna get Nidus, get this fucking skin for him. It is amazing. Uh, and I broke it. All right. So, if you're not gonna get that skin, eh, D tier for fashion. I don't really care for his fashion. Um, his abilities are fun though. I like spamming him for relents and then larva and whatnot. Parasitic Link can make him nearly invincible, and Ravenous gives you passive healing. I really don't know what to say here, other than Nidus is a solid A tier Warframe. And if you get his Fire X skin, solid S tier fashion. I love that skin. Uh, Nova, honestly, honestly, don't don't get mad at me for this one, Nova mains. Your baby only gets a C tier for my, in my opinion. She's fun. I could, I, I don't enjoy her. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you're not allowed to enjoy her. Absolutely. If you enjoy Nova, you enjoy Nova. I just was never able to enjoy Nova very much. Nova Prime looks cool, though. I'll say that. Nova Prime does look cool. Um, but I, I never really enjoyed Nova that much. She gets solid C tier. Just for enjoyment. Also, she's really hard to fucking play because she's so damn squishy. Like, goddamn. She gets a B. I'll give her B just for... Just for the fact that I know that she's a really good Warframe. I just don't personally enjoy how she plays. I'll give her a B tier just because I know if I if I went back and played Nova again, I'd probably enjoy her. But is whatever. Uh, Nyx gets B tier as well. Absorb is cool. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's funny when uh, people build like really high duration efficiency builds on Nyx and like higher range and just sit on a fucking objective and just stay absorbed. Um, Chaos is pretty cool. I actually really like the thought of Chaos. It's a really good crowd control ability. Psychic Bolts, I mean, strips enemy defenses. That's all I have to say, is strips enemy defense. Another really good Warframe for the high-level gameplay. And the Mind Control just lets you invade the Psyche of a target, confusing enemies and making them fight for the Tenno's cause targets. <laughs> then fired upon next, receive a damage multiplier. That's pretty basic. And the enemies have 20% less accurate. Wow. You literally just make them aim bad. Sounds like a cod lobby to me. Um, Oberon. Reckoning. It's been a while since I played Oberon, but from what I remember, he could be better. Like, he's not bad. I don't enjoy support frames, but he gets he's just mid. Like, he's he's not the best. He's not the worst. He's he's C-plus tier. He's C-plus tier. He could be worse. He could be better. But he gets the job done. Oh, also, Nyx Prime gets in... <laughs> Nyx gets, like, a B tier. She looks like a fucking Xenomorph. Look at that shit. Nyx, is, Nyx Prime is literally a Xenomorph. And I hate the look of Oberon Prime, but I love the look of Oberon. I don't know why. Oh, we're going to piss some people off with this one. Now, before I start this, at one point I mained Octavia. And it is with that I say, she gets a C tier for enjoyment. Okay, let me explain. Her two is useless. You just keep one, three, and four, right? I replace her two with dispensary, and I just spam one, two, three, four... And then spam crouch. That's how you play Octavia. She gets an S tier for fashion, though. Octavia Prime looks fucking amazing. One, two, three, four, spam crouch. That's how you to play Octavia. It murders. She's easy to play. I don't enjoy her. Not anymore, at least. I used to enjoy her a lot, but. Oh, wow. We got. You, we got mail. Uh, we don't have that much left. Neat. Uh, Protea. Ah, uh, I wish I had Protea again. But, you know, had to had to subsume her. Had to subsume her. She gets A tier. I I just like her. Grenade fan if you build range is fun. Blaze artillery is fun. Temporal anchor is really interesting. And as I use it, it, it just it becomes more fun to me. I don't know. I don't know. And then every fourth power cast is granted 100% ability strength. 
very hard to manage that one. I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't like her passive, but it's powerful. But she's fun. She's a fun warframe. She could be better, she could be worse, but she's enjoyable. The newest prime, Revenant. Now, all right, hear me out. A tier. I know, I know, uh, I know you're looking at the ability. I know you're looking at it. He's fun, and he's very powerful. But, like, whenever I play Revenant, I just pop Mesmer skin, and I just use my gun. Occasionally, I'll use Dance Macabre, but... And Enthrall, and Reeve, but, you know, I don't really... I really don't know what to say here. I really don't. Like, he's fun. His Prime looks fucking amazing. His Prime gets S tier, and then don't even get me started on the Mephisto skin. But he could just, I don't, I don't know. He's fun. He's just not fun at the same time. He, he makes the game too easy. He makes the game too easy. Um, Rhino. Eh, C tier. I never enjoyed Rhino, though. Pop Iron Skin, Pop Aurora. Occasionally use Rhino Stop to crack control. I, I really don't know what to say here other than Rhino's mid. Rhino is mid. He's not the best. He's not the worst. He's just mid. Uh, and his, he doesn't look that good. Revenant Prime looks amazing. He doesn't. Rhino Prime doesn't. Ah, yes. Saren Prime. She is currently unvolted. And she gets a C tier. I never enjoyed her. Also, don't use my asthma, please, for the love of all that is holy. Just use spores, molds, toxic clash, and replace my asthma with something a little bit stronger. Because it doesn't have as good scaling. Uh, I never really enjoyed Saren, personally. I'm not going to, like, stop you from, like, enjoying Saren. Don't get me wrong. Like, she's fun. She's just not my cup of tea. She also looks fucking amazing at nest tier looks-wise. My god, Saren Prime looks good. <laughs> Alright, like, mmm, Saren Prime looks good. And then we have Sevi Boy. What? <sighs> so anyways, if you're the type of person who listens to emo music and likes to be called an emo and an edgelord, Sevi Goth's for you. And I know exactly what you're thinking if you see my shorts like, Buddy, you have a hair that covers one of your eyes and you're calling yourself not edgy. Well, I don't play uh, Sevagoth, so I guess I'm not that edgy. In fact, I actually subsumed him from Gloom, because Gloom is overpowered. Um, he gets a solid B tier for fashion. Honestly, he he looks like a fucking JoJo character. Look at that stance, and then he has like a fucking shadow the, or a stand. He's just a JoJo's character. Um, he is very interesting, though. He's very hard to describe how he plays. But I really don't like the fact that I can't see what the Exalted Shadow's abilities are. But Sevagoth gets a solid B for fashion and uh, enjoyment. Um, I didn't enjoy Styanax. I got him for free and I... I just don't enjoy him. I, I don't know why I didn't enjoy him, but... Crit chance increases with his shield and doubles for severe guns. I I really don't know why I didn't enjoy Steinax. He like had Bounty. I I didn't enjoy Steinax, so I don't I don't know much Spanish, but I know that you're saying uh hello, good night. So that you know what? Got got a good basis there. <laughs> Um, Steinax gets a B tier. I hate how he looks, though. His looks are C tier. He looks like a gladiator, but, like, a gladiator in quotations. Um, I really wish that you could use, you know, his spear and his shield as a melee weapon if you didn't have one equipped as a sword-spear combo, but we're not allowed to do that, which is stupid. What the hell, DE? If, if they let us do that, he'd easily get, like, A tier. That would have been so cool if we could have, like, a sword or a spear-shield combo with him. If we didn't have, like, a melee equip, but we didn't we didn't get that. And it makes me a little bit sad. Uh, Titania gets B-tier. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting that. Ripping that band-aid off. Gets B-tier. 
And don't even start me on the Corinth Prime. I fucking hate that gun, but B tier. I I don't I like Arcwing too. Like straight up I like Arcwing. She gets B tier though. Mainly because I use mainly her for um not the biggest fan of her other abilities. Well that's just me. So eh. mid. Oh, we're about to get real spicy since this is a pure support frame. Enjoyment wise for me, I don't like support frames. She gets C tier. Is she a wonderful support frame? Yeah. Not saying she's not. C tier. I I I don't like playing support. Ah, you wanna see. Still gotta fill that out. This is my Urelli build. Since you're asking. Really, I could go without Umbral Fiber. Also, although I suppose I'm using it for that. Um, Alrighty. Anyways, Valkyr. Anyways, Valkyr. Well, we'll get to your alley once we get to your alley. Um, also, j just to show that I don't really use metal weapons, Boltor Prime. I pumped in so much <laughs> into this gun. I don't want to talk about it. I love it, though. But, anyways, Valkyr gets a solid A tier. Hysteria is a blast. Uh, I like being Spider Man with Rip Line. Her passive's mid. Uh, Warcry is amazing. Throw on the augment and you just have infinite, like... It's just infinite <laughs> melee. I love Valkyr. Voob and Boopin gets a A tier as well because... Honestly, if you guys have never made Vortex bright orange like the Eye of Sauron, you've, just, you've been messing out. I'm, that's what I'm ending off with Vobin. Voob and Boopin gets B tier... If you've never done that, throw a bunch of Bastilles in one place and pop them to Vortexes with bright orange fucking energy. Just trust me. But Red gets A tier. I don't like, I don't, I don't know why we're really adding uh, Void Rigs and whatnot, but uh, Void Rig gets A tier. Uh, Void Rig's real powerful, kind of fun at times, uh, but I have a Cooper Grattler, so yeah, it does, it does work. Uh, Volt Prime. Oh, no. So, give me one second. Sorry, uh... So, Volt. I... Mm, hold on. Before we get into Volt, I gotta, I gotta do something real quick. Okay, I had to do that because I don't I don't know Spanish. Uh, so Volt, B tier. Also, if you throw Infest Mobility on with speed, they stack. So yeah, that's kind of fun. Uh, his four is really good for Sanctuary onslaught. Shock's kind of fun. Electric Shield. We're not even gonna get an idle on hunts. I don't do idle on hunts. I don't enjoy them personally. Um, but. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. And then his passive's fucking... We're not even going to talk about his passive late game. It's not even useful. 
Wisp. Uh, F tier. Just fucking kidding. No, she gets like A tier. Easily. 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 Especially with reservoirs. Reservoirs is kind of kind of busted. Especially with Breach Surge. If you get Breach Surge ready. Soul Gate's mid. So I'd honestly just Helmuth it. And the Mola Wisp. Teleportations and Time Invincible. Pretty fucking cool. Our passive. Uh, I... Her passive's uh, amazing. I used it to abuse the MR-19. <laughs> yeah. The MR-19 test. Uh, I just hopped around. Then couldn't get detected. So anyways, how does it feel that Monkey Man got nerfed? F tier. F tier. I don't enjoy Monkey Man. Monkey Man is mid. He has never been my favorite Warframe. And that's that. I'm not going deep into it. I never enjoyed Monkey Man. Shit happens. Uh, Zaku, I actually... I don't remember ever playing Zaku. So I guess we'll look at his abilities. Lost... So that's like... Teammates, gaze, capture, deny, annihilate with a view. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, the vast on time. That's when you steal people's weapons, right? No. Which one's... Is the grasp of lock? Yeah, it's the grasp of lock. Zada's whisper, the lost, fast on time. Well, okay, so that like increases damage, twenty-five damage reduction on only attacks. So awesome, that's kind of cool. Um, B tier. His looks cool, and I know that he's uh he's getting a deluxe skin coming up, and I'm really excited to see what that looks like. Um, yeah, B tier. <clears throat> Here. Easily S tier. Fucking S tier, S tier, S tier. All right, just just roll with me, okay. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Yoreli gets S tier for one reason. She is better than Anaros. She's better at tanking than Anaros because of Merlina. She is a blast to play, but she is weak and terrible with her abilities. But she is a blast and a half to play, and I love her. And I don't care what the fuck you say. I love Yoreli, and she is a blast to play. With that being said... This leads us to our last Warframe because I'm not touching Arc Wings because I don't want to touch Arc Wings. Zephyr. B tier. Air Burst is cool. Tailwind is cool. His, her passive is amazing. Tornado is pretty cool. Um, but she gets B tier. Her fashion, though. The Zephyr Harrier skin is cool as shit. But Zephyr is cool. But yeah. Yoreli gets S tier, which sounds probably gonna boggle some brains with that one but i mean like come on now you can tell i enjoy his effort where you're really so what are the browser primes stats i shall help you with this build Alrighty, so it's got crit hmm low slash low overall damage actually Good crit multiplier, good base crit. It's automatically silent ammo. Okay, I can. Okay, so it'll be like the Tellus Boltor. Um, give me one second, and I'll like show you the build on the Tellus Boltor. 
So that should... Well, no, you don't want really status. Actually, what was the status on this fucking thing? 14. Oh, wait, no, that's that's about what you want. That, that, that's that's about the build that you want. Galvanized chamber, serration, infested clip, thermite rounds. Uh, wait, what the fuck? Hold on. That's not, that's not the build. What in the hell? Why did I put gas? Oh, yeah, I, I put gas on there for example sakes. Something like that. I would recommend on the Bosnian. Which sounds weird. Just roll with me. Um, galvanized aptitude is like... Uh, fuck. I have it on my Quandao. Hold on. I don't have it on my Quandao. I'm a dummy dum dum. Condition overload. Um, it's, it's like condition overload. So you'll want galvanized aptitude and galvanized chamber just for the extra damage. Because that'll make it to where your weapon can theoretically... Theoretically, scale infinitely. Uh, the serration, because extra damage, which sure you could just throw on the Arcane Prime Adapter. Eh. The Primary Merciless. Eh. Critical Delay, because it's already got a stupid high fire rate. Shred, because more fire rate punch through, lets you shoot through people. Thermite Rounds, and then Infected Clip Rhyme Rounds, because Viral Heat, and then one thing that I could recommend you do is, in fact, get rid of serration, throw in the primary mod adapter, and throw in 100 munitions instead. So have it be something like that. Or eh, I can remake this build on my Voltor Prime. So I can show you better. So, like, a little level goofing around. Uh, so it'll be like something like galvanized aptitude, galvanized chamber, malignant force, rhyme rounds, shred, hunter munitions, point strike, um, vital sense for that viral, and then... You throw in Primary Merciless on top of it for that extra damage bonus. Uh, vigilante Supplies, just because it's Vigilante supply, Supplies, lets you get that crit bonus. And then you, that's that's about how I would build it. it that's, that should do the trick. Especially with that, like, this is my Steel Path build. This can deal with Steel Path very easily. Don't even, don't even get me started on Latum Grand out, but... That'll that'll deal with it very easily. So, that's how I would build the Bowser Prime personally. But I'm actually going to end the stream here because I I did what I set out to do. I gave a tier to every single Warframe in the game and boggled people's brains by saying your rally is S tier. Don't care what people say. I love your rally. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget to do the whole like, subscribe stuff, because that makes me feel good on the inside. And if you enjoyed, you know, do that stuff still, because it makes me feel good. And uh, good luck with that Baza Prime build, dude. And uh, if you did enjoy watching me goof around, you know, tier list all the Warframes and give your LES tier, which is probably mind-boggling to you, most people. Drop a like, subscribe. I like your Ellie. I don't care what anybody says. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We're playing Dishonor tomorrow, and we're going to be probably finishing it up tomorrow, I think. I don't know how much more we have left. But I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And I'll see you tomorrow. Deuces.